Jim. It's a Sunday morning and um, the Nowrat season. So, uh, happy Nowratham to all my Hindu brothers and sisters out there. And again, for the other religions, we have uh, the Ramadan month for my Muslim brothers and sisters out there. Happy Ramadan to you guys. And uh, for the Christian brothers and sisters, it's Lent. And uh, may God be with you all. And uh, fasting on the whole, it's, it's a very good thing. Fasting rejuvenates the body. So, whether what religion we are, fasting governs all religion. It's the branches of the same tree. So, once again, everyone out there, fasting, praying, doing whatever is good for your health and your religion. Happy Nawrat, Lent, and Ramadan to you guys. Okay, so we're going to get straight to the cooking. Seeing that it's Nawrat today, I'm going to make some dal, which I've already showed you guys. I have a half pint of dal here. This is for the dal. Remember, uh, my dal, uh, uh, I put it to boil, I'll wash it, put it to boil here. And then when it, all the froth is out, then I'll add these ingredients. This I have four weary pepper there. I have a quarter white onion, quarter red onion, two, two uh, cloves of garlic. This is the chunky the dal. One teaspoon of masala. Two teaspoon of grind jeera and uh, one teaspoon of curry powder and um, some garlic cut up there. That's to fry the chunky the dal. This I'm gonna add inside. This is salt, jeera, dye or turmeric, and a little black pepper whilst it's boiling. All right? For the karaila, I have. I'm gonna cook karaila. Nothing inside. Just beer karaila. It's now rat season and. I have four karaila or bitter milan, some of us call it, right? So I have four here, I'll prepare it and I'll cook fried butternut squash, right? You can call it pumpkin, butternut squash, it's all from the same family. So a lot of people bake this sometimes, like I have a lot of friends tell me they put it in their oven, season it and bake it, but uh, this I'm going to fry today. Right, so I've already prepared these here. This I have for the both the karaila and the butternut squash. I have two on, uh, white onions, one red onion, about eight flakes of garlic. I'll divide it whilst frying. And this is a chili pepper. I have about six cut up here. That's all. No other seasoning, right? Um, so I'm gonna wash the dog, put it here to boil. And I'm going to cut these up and I'm going to see you when I start frying it. See you then. Okay, my friends. Uh, I've um, cut up this pumpkin here. I've added uh, some white and red onions on top. The karaila. I've cut it up also. Added some red and white onions on top. With the karaila, I just sprinkle a little salt on it. I'll wait for five minutes and then I wash it out. I don't want too much of the bitterness off because the bitterness is good for your blood, right? The bitterness is good for the body, okay? So I'm gonna start frying these up now. So I'm gonna add some onion in here, just for the karaila, right? Too much of fire. Add some onion here, some of it, half a garlic here, garlic here, and some of the chili pepper here and some in here. That's it. Right? Remember, nothing in here. It's for now wrap. 
no brand. Now I'll just to fry up a little before I add a thing. And I'll just to fry up a little. Also the karela is thing, so I'm gonna add the karela in here. Slow heat, minimum heat. Turn it up and add some salt. About half a teaspoon of salt. And allow this to fry. And this is gonna go with rice. I've already cooked the rice. I always like to cook my rice before, right? I showed you guys already a lot of times tell you also I right? know. There you go. I'm gonna cover this halfway. Slow fire. I love that to cook. Now I'm gonna go with the pumpkin. Brown. I got a doll at the back there by him. Slow this heat a little also. Add the pumpkin here. Or butternut squash. Actually, it's butternut squash, but I call it pumpkin. It's the same, same family, right? Yeah. They're cousins. A lot of my friends bake it, but uh, this is a way you can do it too. You can try it. I'll add some salt. Now about the, a spoonful of salt for now, this after. And I'll add a little black pepper. And I'll add a teaspoon of jira tablespoon sorry for the jira I'm going to turn this up here Oh yeah, looking magnificent. Okay, I'm gonna slowly fire the heat and let it cook, cook slowly. Yeah, slowly with the most important ingredients and that's love. <laughs> yeah. When you love what you're cooking and you love what you're doing, it comes out so good. Yeah. Okay, so I'll allow this to fry up. When I'm ready to um, chunky the dal, I'll get back to you guys and uh, we'll do some taste tests after. Okay, see you then. Okay, my friends. Pumpkin is all done. Karayla is all done. I had a half a tomato in the fridge, so I, a fresh tomato, so I, I put it in the karayla. That's not mandatory, it's up to you, but I, I always like a piece of tomato up sometimes in my karayla. I didn't fry it to uh, 
you know, brown or too hard because you get rid of most of the nutrients when you do that. So I like it like this about half or as long as it's boiled. So that's the carayla. And the pumpkin, the doll is done. This is the doll here, right? I'm gonna start chunking it. I got the oil in here. I'm gonna put it on top there. I'm gonna add the curry powder, the jeera and the masala in. I ran out the whole jeera, but I put in ground jeera there, so no big deal. So then I'm gonna add the garlic when that's about half away. Right? This is the Jandy style dog. <laughs> Remember it's no wrap. And now there's a little salt in here. The rice is done already, as I told you guys. And this is straight food. No chicken, no nothing, no shrimp, nothing inside. It's the no rat season and uh, just doing it for the no rat season. Here I'm gonna add the um, garlic now. garlic get burnt a little then you're gonna throw it in the pot the dal is chunky now in the dal I sometimes add poi bhaji mustard you can add bhaji any type of bhaji inside but today I'm gonna cook it straight right when it's almost done you add those you can add green onions or anything and here we go it's all done inside inside the pot Okay guys, so I'm gonna clean up the dal and we're gonna go for the taste test. See you then. So my friends, happy Laurat again, happy Ramadan, happy Lent. It's all done. The pumpkin. Fry carayla, cut inside, and the dal. Fry uh, chunky with a uh, masala and curry powder. Alright? Remember in the dal you can add bhaji inside when it's almost done, which I do sometimes, not all times, and everything. So this is uh, some carayla I got here. Pumpkin, dal, and and the rice with um some mango chutney from Guyana. My wife bought this back from Guyana. Mango chutney is simply green mango. They pound up, they squeeze out the juice, the sour, uh, sour bitter juice, sour juice, and then they um soak it in mustard oil, garlic, peppers, and uh, mix it up there and that's it mango chutney so i'll take a little mango chutney here in the doll a little pumpkin piece of the tomato i put in the carayla and some of the carayla remember you don't fry carayla too brown it takes away the nutrients and here we go Nice combination for a nice fasting season and um, it's good. Fasting is good, it rejuvenates your body, remember? 
and um, that's it I think we're gonna close this video Kev I'm gonna let you close the video okay guys so this is it the doll and the Karaila and pumpkin with rice so mango chutney. mango chutney so hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe leave a comment and share it with your friends and family and hope you guys enjoy your rest of your day and i'll see you guys later goodbye from Graham's kitchen bye bye Shut up.